welcome back to SA Wine Weekly. We've got a very, very different show for you today. We are at the 23rd Street Distillery, and as per usual, I've got my lovely co-host, Holly. Thank you. The gin lover. I'm a gin lover. The gin lover, the oyster lover. Love them, I love oysters. And we've got to have our special guest. We sure do. We've got Jessica from 23rd Distillery. Hello, nice to be here. Thank you for coming on the show. No, it's great. Great to have you here. That's awesome. Awesome venue. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. massive. I, I really didn't expect to walk in here and it's just boom. Yeah, quite large. Yeah, and quite a bit of history as well. It is. So the site's been here since 1914. So Nin 1914. Mm. So we've got about 100 years of history. Um, but it's yeah. about your age, Nathan. No, it pre predates me by a little, <laughs> a little bit, but... So 1914, what, what was it originally? So it was originally a winery. Yeah? Yeah, so it was called Romano um, Winery. So they produced lots of different products, uh, closed in 2004, um, and then the Bigfoots group took over, and, and now it is what you see today. Wow. So did it look a little bit different? Very I different. Imagine? Very different, yeah. And yeah. how long have you been working here? Uh, so since we began, so uh, 2016. 2016. Yep. Four years now. Wow, it's quite a bit of renovations. Yeah, definitely. It's very, very cool. Oh, it's, awesome. it's very much the old mixed with the new, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. And, and some, some of the original, or a lot of the original uh, buildings still here. Mm -hmm. And you can see down in the caves, as I was calling them, or they <laughs> almost look like jail cells. Um, <laughs> and that, that's the old that wine. Wine tanks. Wine tanks, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we've now converted them into dining booths so people can eat. That's um, very cool. Really nice. And yeah. you, would, um, you can book them out? You can. Yeah. 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 Perfect. So what do we have here? So we've got a few things here today. Um, we've just recently launched our Violet Gin, which has been so popular. Um, as you can see here, this is our Violet Collins. Uh, they make really beautiful cocktails. And we've got some oysters to go with them as well. So um, what, without saying the obvious, uh, mm -hmm. what's in the cocktail? So it's a Violet Collins, so it's got our Violet Gin, um, lemon juice, as you can see by the garnish there, a little bit of sugar syrup and soda water to top it up. Right. Yeah. Sounds very refreshing. It is perfect for a summer's day. Summer's day. Yeah. Wow. And we're pairing it with the oysters. We are, yes. What's, yep. what's the uh, mix in the oysters? What? So we've got some native finger limes there, which is one of the botanicals in our violet gin. Um, and then linger lime? Finger, finger lime. lime. Finger limes, Holy yeah. <laughs> and then we garnish that with a little bit of uh, violet gin and tonic as well. Ah. Yeah. All so right. Is the, is the gin overpower the oyster? No, so if you just have a little bit, um, then they go really nicely together actually. I'm actually yeah. very excited to try this. Yeah. I've never thought of pairing, like putting some alcohol on mm -hmm. an oyster. Yeah, no, that's perfect. Quite well, nice. let's have a try of the uh, let's do it. drink first. Okay. You girls go first, ladies first. Sure. It looks absolutely magnificent. Yes, yeah, so you've got that lemon in there, quite refreshing. I'm going to stir mine. Mm -hmm. so it's very nice citrusy. It is, yeah. That's fair. So maybe a silly question. How do you get the colour purple? Yes, yeah, so once we've distilled it, um, we infuse it with the butterfly pea flower, uh, which uh, steeps in there for 18 hours, and then that gives it all of the colour from there. So you can see it's a little bit more of a pinky colour in the glass, um, and that's because uh, it reacts with anything acidic, so tonic water or lemon or lime, um, and then it will change to that ultraviolet pink colour. So refreshing. Yeah. Yeah. What do you, so what do you think? Oh, delicious. I want to delicious? Drink it. I want to drink it all. <laughs> I, know. I think it could, yeah. It's a drink that could go down quite easily. It does, yeah. Mm. I can definitely picture myself sitting out by the pool. Yeah, perfect. perfect. Definitely. Or um, maybe if you're not feeling too well and you have to go out tonight. One, one, of, one of these, just before you, before you head out. That's just a good to, idea. Just to refresh yourself. Up. Yeah, a little bit. Well, yeah. I might um, like try one of these voices. Let's go for it. Great, no worries. So, how do I do this? Just pour, I pour it there. Pour it, pour it here. <laughs> However you like. Pour it, no worries. So, we'll just pour a little bit of this one on. Yeah, go on, you have one. It, look, it looks yeah. absolutely amazing. I'm gonna eat it. Oh. And I can 
eat the flowers. You can eat the flowers, yeah, they are growing fresh in our garden. Thank you. So you have a garden on we site? We do, yeah. yeah. So we grow just some things like mint for our cocktails, basil, rocket, flowers, just all our garnishes. were really refreshing, like with yeah. the, the like citrusy type, quite light. Yeah. Again, complements the drink really well. Yeah, yeah. and um, adding the gin to it, the violet gin to yeah. it. Would you add some tonic as well? Yes, yeah, yeah, sure. We definitely can. I think that's supposed to have a little bit of tonic in there. Yeah. But you will see the colour change. Ah. Do you want another one? one? Magic. Yeah, I think you should sure. 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 <laughs> sure, yeah. let's go for it. Try it with the tonic. With the tonic this time. And what about we get uh, Adriana in to have one of the other ones? Oh, yeah, that's so a good if, idea. If I had to do it, Adriana, Adriana? come on, come on. Oh, she's come doing around. it. She's going for yeah, it. Yeah, she is. Yeah, come, come yeah, around. around yeah. I'll do it at the same time as you. Here you go, what? Yeah. Yeah. I'll pour a little bit more on yeah. here. You might have to. Full experience. Cheers. 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 There you go. Oh. oh. Try and get some of the in your mouth, Holly. Oh no. <laughs> Adriana was struggling. Oh, I got it down. <laughs> Delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How was the second one, Holly? It was nice. Yeah? I like the tonic in it. Mm. Did it change the taste with the tonic I in it? it? Yeah, yeah, it definitely did. It definitely kind of changed like the taste. Um, like a little bubble. Oh, yeah. It was cool. <laughs> the oyster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think she likes my drink. Complemented the oysters perfectly. Obviously, they've made it that way. Yeah. And I really like how cool it was oh, pour, awesome. pouring the uh, tonic in there, changing the colour, just like the drink. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's the point of it. Yeah, um, great. Presentation. Yeah. It's like it's beautiful. Great. And you can come here and learn how to make these cocktails. We do. We do a cocktail masterclass. Yes. Yeah, so um, you book in for an hour, and then you are taken through with our mixologist how to make a few different cocktails. With your it's mixologist, really so there's a yeah. DJ as well. No, no, uh, a no. Mixolo uh, drinks mixologist. Oh right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But wait, wait, resident remote DJ. <laughs> a mixologist. Oh. Yeah, so that's like the technical name for a cocktail maker. Yeah, drink expert. Story, very, very story, fancy. story. Yeah. 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 yeah, we book, and you get to, I guess, drink all the drinks as you well. You do, yeah, yeah. yeah. Make a bit of a day out of it. Yeah, it's really fun. And when does that yeah, usually happen? Um, so you can book in any time. Generally, we do it uh, like just before dinner, so like five thirty to six thirty, and then you can stay for dinner stay after dinner. Yeah. Perfect. Wow. Oh, we good didn't to know. get a group we'll, uh, together to arrange a. Um, a date. SA Wine Weekly test. Sounds good. It does sound good to me. Yeah. If they taste anything like these, I know. They're very. We have it like a dangerous scale on the SA Wine Weekly <laughs> You know, your wines that are very easy to drink. Yes, and yes. Or a little bit. Goes yes, down goes down to the top. This is on the top level. This goes to the top. Yep. So we're on to um, beverage two. And um, what tasty delight have we got? So we've got our brand new red citrus gin just here. Um, brand new? Brand new. Well, we're, it's our most recent release. Oh, so that almost SA Wine Weekly first, the um, yeah. citrus. Yeah. So how, what's in it? Yeah, so this one has a, like a native spirit base. It's got juniper berries, of course. All gin has to have juniper yeah. berries in it. Uh, but then we've got some strawberry gum in there, um, some chamomile, some uh, coriander as well. But then we uh, use the fresh Riverland blood oranges and caracara natives, which gives it a really lovely uh, red citrus characteristic. And it's only available in the small At the moment, at the yes. Moment. So we just launched it in the 200 mils and it's only available from the distillery here in Renmark and our bar on Melbourne Street in Adelaide. 
And how much for the 200 mil? $35. $35. $35. Bargain. Yeah. Bargain. So, the way you're supposed to do it is you're supposed to... Can you pass that to oh, me, please? Sure, thank you. That would be yours. Thank you. You're supposed to taste a little, like when you come here for a tasting, you taste a little, the gin. We always recommend that you try it first on its own without yeah. any mixer, just so that you get all of the full flavours coming through. Right, it okay. is 40% alcohol, so it is a little bit intense, but you do get those lovely uh, botanicals. Oh, 40% <laughs> alcohol. Yeah. Well, wow. just have a little sip. Good night, Holly. The ice in there really cools nice. it down. Yeah, so, I think yeah. Um, it's nice. you would have that meat. Yeah. Could you that elaborate a little strong. bit? It's nice. It's <laughs> to elaborate, right. Nathan. Will you elaborate while I have a taste? No, you can taste like kind of very subtle flavours mm -hmm. um, yeah, so of the herbs. And uh, the oranges, do you dehydrate them here? We do, yes. So it fits on site. That's yeah. very cool. Though. Yeah, and, and we've got lots of local uh, riverland oh. oranges that we use. So yeah. we like to use as many local Orange as land as we can. here. Yeah, yeah. no, you'd, yeah. you'd be struggling to find oranges <laughs> in Red Mark, wouldn't you? <laughs> like even your bins are, that's what I love. The yeah, bins yeah. Are all <laughs> orange shape. So I'm going to have to put some tonic in it because of that. Yeah, it is, it is quite strong. It goes really nicely with the tonic. Um, yeah. Or soda water as well. Um, soda water? Soda water. Yeah. And so you make your own tonic water here? Uh, Bickford Street? Yep. Yeah, so it's not made here on site, but it's made us in Salt Street. Yeah. So you've got quite a diverse range of beverages. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, so you do yeah. gin, you've mm -hmm. got cognac. Yeah, so do brandy. Brandy. Yeah, yeah. Vodka. Can you hear that, Nathan? Brandy. Mm -hmm. Whiskey, rum. I can't call it cognac. It's a bit like champagne. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Shh. No cognac. Just brandy. Brandy. Just yeah. brandy. Mm -hmm. And... I actually, uh, last time I was here, I bought a bottle of the top of the range one for my father-in-law because I'm, I'm the best son-in-law. I wasn't, but all <laughs> of a sudden, but now I, you are. all of a sudden I was. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you're out there and your father-in-law is not that real happy with you, <laughs> a great way to get back in the good books: the top of the range of brandy. So that'll be our EXO brandy. Yeah, so yeah, yeah twenty-four-year-old. Is that like so... a coffee? No, no, it's not coffee flavored. No, no. thinking of another drink. Yeah. All right. yeah. Yes, no, no coffee. No coffee, no coffee. No coffee. No. <laughs> it is delicious though, and um, a great South Australian product. Yeah, yeah. And obviously that's what we're all about, the South exactly. Australian products. Yeah. And I think we also got some rose vodka. We do have some rose vodka, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that you can see that one just there. Yeah. Um, that one's made with fresh rose petals from Rustin's Rose Garden just around the corner. Because well. Renmark's not known for its roses either, is That's it? That's right, yeah. So we've just had the uh, Rose Festival here yep. at Renmark, so you might have noticed the roses oh, yeah, on the way I did town. see that. Yeah, so we use two different kinds of rose petals, the Mr. Lincoln and the Radio Times, um, and they are vapour uh, infused into the um, spirit as we're distilling it. So all the flavour just comes from there. So what what would you drink with a rose vodka? So it goes lovely just with soda. Um, but also really nice in some cocktails as well. So if we had more time, we could do like a Turkish Delight Martini um, or a oh rose. No, we got plenty of time. Rose yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got plenty We're not going anywhere. <laughs> we got plenty of time. Yeah, so it's a really lovely one. Very awesome. unique as well. As far as I know, it's the only um, rose vodka in the world. Very cool. The, the only rose vodka in the world. Yeah, yeah, as far as I know. There may uh, be one out there. That's but. a big call. Yep. Well, the mm. people are researching. Yeah, uh, that's right. Let us know if you're wrong, if yeah. I'm wrong. No, no. So what, do you, um, what do you think of the drink? Well, the blood orange definitely comes out in it. Um, probably comes out a lot more once the tonic's been added to it. Yeah, um, that's kind of what I thought. I could have drink well. it straight, but I'm a bit of a yeah. girl like that. I can't yeah, yeah, do yeah, straight spirits. Um, but. I would like to, um, to taste some soda as well. I think that would, that would be a good taste. Yeah, if, um, okay. if people didn't like tonic, then right. with, the, with the soda, but yeah. the gin lovers would absolutely love this. So I, I think it's very easy to drink. A lot easier to drink with the oh, tonic. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but winner, an absolute Great. winner. So what would you, and kind of fly off the shelves. Yes, most definitely. Kind of fly off the shelves. Yeah. And, it, and it's going to be made in the bigger bottles a little bit later? Uh, it depends how this one goes, so we'll just have to wait and see. I'm for saying that one. definitely. Bit of a trial. Yeah. Yeah, I'm saying true. definitely, it's going to yeah. be made. Like summertime. Yeah. That's yeah. right. It's, yeah, very yeah. refreshing. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Really, really lovely in summer. Gin kind of screams summer. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And I'm all of our citrus flavours go. I'm really screaming well. for summer too. Oh, yeah. It's been a bit of a slow start, <laughs> <laughs> isn't it? It's been a really hot days and it's we had right. one week, rain now. One week yeah. teased us, yes, it's here, yeah. and then. Yeah. yeah. No. 
back to autumn fold. weather. Yeah. Um, so speaking of, so in yeah. terms of food pairing. Yeah, yeah. So we're sticking with the seafood theme. So quite yeah. light again, fresh. Again. Yeah. 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 So we've got some pan seared squid here that we've served with some chorizo, some local uh, capers in there as well, some tomato and herbs. So. Uh, Really lovely with wow. anything Ooh. citrusy. Again. Chorizo. Yeah, so it is a little bit spicy. There's some chili in there as well. Oh, Holly's um, actually a, a Presbyterian. Pesca I am Pescatarian. A Pesca Pesca Pescatarian. Pesca <laughs> I hate seafood. Yeah, that's all right. She doesn't, she doesn't to, um, eat meat, yeah. which she gets teased about non stop on this show. Um, but we well, we'll have it. We've catered very well for you then. Yeah. And um, obviously, an awesome in house chef. Yes. And uh, what, what other sort of meals are on the menu? Oh, so we're also very well known for our pizzas. Um, so yes, yeah, so I noticed wood oven pizzas. Yeah, yep, so we've got a wood oven pizza and yeah. an Italian uh, pizza chef. So oh. some really great pizzas as well. Yeah, so. And what's your favourite pizza? Um, I like the radicchio pizza. So radicchio? It's got radicchio. some like prosciutto, uh, boccini, but also some of the radicchio. It's like a red cabbage on it as well. All right, like, that so sounds good. Yeah. And um, so it's authentic Italian pizza. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So not overloaded. No. No. No right. pineapple. Flavor. No pineapple. <laughs> Unless someone asks for it, and then we'll cater. Yeah, then yeah. you'll yeah. laugh and cater. Thank you. There we go. I'm going to try and I won't eat the meat. Oh, I'll, 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 I'll eat I'll around. Go first, eat around then. the truth. Yeah. It'll look, the presentation is absolutely awesome. Oh, yeah. We probably won't all eat at once, but you girls go. I'm very interested to see what the uh, difference in taste was. Good work. Scoot good it work, straight down the top, yep. straight down the front. That's right, I did that most shows. Yeah. <laughs> ha happens quite often, doesn't it? And how long's the chef been here for? Um, so, Andrea's been with us since we opened our. Um, Kitchen, so our kitchen's just new. We launched that last year. Okay. Yep, and our other two chefs are a little bit uh, newer. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So and um, she obviously cooks up a, a, mean, a mean feast. A bit, yep. bit, shy, bit shy of the camera. Yeah, so that's Helen. Um, so she's a very good chef. She's um, been cooking for quite a few years now in the Riverlands, um, but not so keen for to be on TV. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that's, you might see her hands. Sweet is so tender. Yes, yeah, she cooks it really well. Like melts mm. in your mouth. Yep. With the capers and we have a sip of gin. Mm. Yes, it goes really nice with the gin. Yum. Delicious. Oh, I spat on myself. Um, <laughs> the heat from the food mm. automatic, automatically cooked down by the gin. Mm -hmm. That, that, that oh, kind of yeah. surprised me. Um, it works really well. The chili. Yeah. So if you're eating yeah. something really hot, mm -hmm. then. Yeah, so often if the you're drinking gins. wine or something like that with something spicy, it can make it a little bit worse. Yeah. But uh, if you get a little bit of tonic in there with your gin, then there it you go. cools it down. Oh, well, it's a tonic, is it? Yeah. And a little uh, trick. We'll say it's a gin. Yeah. yeah. Gin and tonic together. Yeah. Very nice. So. What a perfect pairing. Delicious. That's really nice. How? This is like A class food, isn't it? Oh, so good. Yeah. Well, I can Can't see the, eat that whole thing. I can see the. I'm going to have some more. It's a little bit spicy yeah. for me. <laughs> we might have to go to an ad break. It's, it's, that, it's, that it's break time. Yeah. Wow. So, how long have you been in the hospitality industry? Yourself? Only since I began here. Um, I worked at Van Rock Station a little bit before that. Yeah. yeah. It's very cool. And I imagine you drink quite a bit of gin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's working here. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit spoilt for choice. Mm. Yeah, yeah. The signature gin is my favourite. Um, signature gin. Yeah, so that's our oh. classic gin. Um, is that here? First one. Yeah. First one here. Yeah. So we began with that one when we first opened. So that one um, has lots of fresh Riverland mandarins and limes in there. So again, the citrus theme comes through, uh, but also some spices like star anise and cardamom, which really comes through yeah. nicely as well. So. Can't go past the classic gin and tonic. Serve that, that with tonic water. Yeah, yeah. We could do soda as well. Yep, yeah, most definitely. And um, perfect. perfect in all your classic um, cocktails like gin martinis mm -hmm. and everything as well. So. Definitely the place to be. Yeah. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so good. <laughs> I forgot we were on a show. I know, oh, we're on a show, Nathan. Eating away, having a drink. Oh, but it was a show. So relaxing. It was a show. <laughs> awesome. Now, how much do you, does your like, signature gin sell for? Mm -hmm. Yep, so that one's $80 a bottle. Uh, 
Uh, the violet gin is also eight years old, so yeah. thick, but it would last you quite a while. It does, yeah, and they never go off. That's the great sure. thing. Well, yeah, depends. <laughs> depends on the drinker. I think you get about 22 to 23 standard drinks out of it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, gin's quite. It's quite a strong, unique kind of flavour. So yeah. I think you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, for me, I wouldn't need a lot. Very nice. Okay. Okay, I, I'm just the food. You just didn't. Oh, I know. Oh, the food is superb. I think Aiden, Aiden and um, Adriana. Yeah, no, yeah, I can see Aiden. A drawing. bit jealous. <laughs> That's right, we saved you some. Very, very nice. Cool. So definitely have to book in. I imagine you get yes. very busy. Yeah. Weekends especially. Uh, very busy. Yeah. So. Bookings are very appreciated. And what's the best way to book in? Oh, so you can book online. Yeah. Um, or just give us a call as well. Yeah. yeah. So the old fashioned phone. Yeah. Not, that works. not enough people do it. Yeah. Just ring up. <laughs> like, mind you, the phone's been ringing all morning. It has. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah. We did that on purpose so I'm not busy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so right. ring up, jump on the internet, book yep, in perfect. online. Yeah, yeah. So either on Facebook or our website. Both Facebook. Them. Yeah. So um, what what are the best socials? For yeah, so Street. Facebook and Instagram. Yep. Um, 23rd Street Distillery. Yeah. No Twitter? Mm, no Twitter. No, no. I was looking for you just before to tag you in a tweet, but I couldn't find you. No. no. So it wasn't me after all. No, that's right. Uh, <laughs> and when you come up to do a um, gin flight, is it? Or, yes, yeah? tasting flights. Tasting flights. Yeah. What, what, obviously, um, being part of the Bigfoots group, you've got a lot more than just we do. Spirits. spirits. So what yeah. can people come and experience so, here? Yeah, we do beer flights as well. So we've got the Vale and the Fox Hat uh, Brewing. Did you say well. beer flights? Beer flights, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh I, saw, I saw that. So Vale, Vale, Vale. Yep. And Fox Hat? Fox Hat as well, yep. So we've got those in our paddles, um, also on tap as well. So you can come get a pint. Yep. Yeah, okay. while your wife's doing the gin tasting, you come yes. up. Oh, perfect. Very so popular. Perfect, perfect day, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we do wine as well, so we've got all the berries oh, for the okay. wines here. We don't do wine tastings. There's yeah. lots of places in the land where you can get lots of good yeah. land wine. There's quite a few vineyards up there. There are, yeah. yeah. I'm very partial to the Beresford's Grenache. Yes, yep, that's, yeah. we've got that one here. I keep hinting at it because I was, I was hoping the girls were going to let me stay in the Grenache room. Oh, okay, yes. But that's in there. No. Nice and nice. Yeah, some lovely accommodation. They nice. said, so get it a little, you know, get the show a little bit better, get yourself a bit, of a, <laughs> a bit more well known. Yeah, get, get, <laughs> then you can get in there. Get your profile a little bit higher, and then we'll, we'll talk about it. Perfect. But uh, Sam and the girls down there were amazing. Yeah. We actually had them on the show. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, yeah they're lovely. Too. And they were great. Oh, yeah. they were lovely. And, and the yeah. other Jess. Yeah, oh, the Jess. The other Jess. I kept calling her Jess. I don't, she just looked like a Jess. She looked like a Jess. <laughs> So when we came here, I had to check that Holly wasn't. I am Jess. Wasn't yes. actually Plus teasing me, so <laughs> she's a real Jess. Um, so yep. that was a great show. Their wines, and we actually paired their wines mm -hmm. with uh, Brace Girls chocolates. Yeah, delicious. It works. So I would say I, I ate them all. Yeah. And stole them. <laughs> Way too many. Holly just was eating the chocolates. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> just me. Holly, what are you we're doing a wine, wine show. <laughs> But yeah, no, I think red wine and chocolate, sometimes yeah, you can't I, go I've wrong. I've never tried that yeah, before, so and I was surprised how they yeah. kind of complemented each other. Yeah. The strong Shiraz mm. with the white chocolate. So oh, white good. Chocolate. I, I, you would never think of it. Nice, no, never. No, and the we dark gave, chocolate one. And, yeah. The girls did so well, and uh, what a beautiful place to stay to. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to hit again. Beautiful. Sam. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> so, obviously, Come and have a glass of a glass of Beres is awesome. You can have a pint. Yeah. You can do a beer yeah. tasting. You can do the. Is it a gin flight or is it? Oh, we've got three different flights. So Palette Liberator, oh, Time and Passion, and Heart and Soul. So we do a range of gin, brandy, uh, whiskey, vodka, and rum. And then we've got uh, Time and Passion's all brandy. So if you want to try that XO that we we're talking about before, yeah. that's the way to go. And then we've got uh, Heart and Soul, which is our three gins. Okay. And is there a, um, a cost to book in? Um, so for the tasting flights, they're fifteen dollars each. Um, Ten dollars of that is redeemable of our seven hundred bottles as well. So oh, good. works out for them. Excellent. It's actually um, a tourist attraction up here. Yeah. Like, uh, you yeah. could even just come here, just to come here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. No, lots of people do. You could come here. You can come here. To come to the Riverlands. To the Riverlands to come here. The gin's gone to my head. We do uh, tours here as well, so if you want to have a look out in our still house in the Barrel Hall, um, then you can book in for those. They're 11.30 daily. 11.30? Yes, we got oh, to. Oh, we missed. Oh, no. We missed. <laughs> oh, well, next time. Yeah. We're actually thinking we might um, 
bring one of our guests, uh, my wife's best friend, Sal. Hi, Sal. Um, lives up here. That's oh, why we're here. She Perfect. organised all of it. Excellent. And um, we might actually bring her and her husband back and do the cocktails. Yeah, yeah. cocktail masterclass. Oh, why yeah. not? We also do a gin blending, which is really fun. So um, we've got all the botanicals individually distilled, and then you can mix them up and make your own gin wow. as well. Oh, gin blending. Yeah, that's mm. really good. Something Holly and I have been learning about at the moment. Uh, we mm -hmm. have. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we sure have. That was fantastic, and um, I can see that screaming off the shelves. Yeah, it's and been very popular so far. Yeah, mm -hmm. and um, very nice. can you do all the flights? You can if you want to. I'd like to. <laughs> I, would like, I, don't, I can't make it another day, but just, <laughs> yeah. for the whole day, and just hang out. Is there yeah. a crash? Uh, well, crash? we've got like lawn games and. Oh, uh, there is. Oh, so oh, it's good for kids. Good for kids. Perfect, yeah. family friendly. That's right. And yeah. what about when we uh, come back to do the uh, cocktail masterclass? Mm -hmm. Is there anything to entertain kids then? Um, well, we could. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Adrian, that's, that's more of a more of a sitting. <laughs> 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 here here as well. We do, yeah, yeah. So we've got a wedding on this weekend um, in here. So it's a lovely venue. You don't really need to do too much to no, it. No, it's not at all. really beautiful. So it's always just closest to the public. Yes. Yep. yep. Um, and we'll set that up here. So uh, yeah, weddings, uh, birthdays, engagements, all sorts. Yeah, oh. good place for a function. I think about that. Oh yeah. yeah. Florida, great place for an engagement. Sorry. <laughs> That's, uh, Who's getting again? <laughs> <laughs> so we're on to uh, the delightful beverage three, and uh, what are we tasting? So we've got a hybrid whiskey here today, uh, which is a blend of bourbon and scotch. So a little right. bit different, quite unique. Yeah. So. Um, what percentage of, is it of each? Yeah, so uh, roughly about 70% scotch to 30% bourbon. But they're finished off in the bourbon barrels. Yeah. So that gives it some of that sweet, uh, smoky flavours. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So hybrid, that's a mixture. So that's a fancy term. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. You've got a fun, useful fact about that. Well, I do, because a um, bit like the cognac, mm -hmm. you're, not, uh, you're not allowed to call it bourbon unless it's made. No. That's yeah. right, unless it's made yeah. in America. Yeah. It's a very useful fact. Yeah. It is a very useful fact. So champagne, cognac, bourbon. Same. Also the same with scotch. Scotch. So we don't make any scotch here. Yeah, that needs yeah. to be made in Scotland as well. Right, so we call it whiskey. So we've got an Australian whiskey. Australian whiskey. This one's a blend of bourbon and scotch because we've imported them both. Um, but our single malt whiskey that we make here, yeah. um, that one is an Australian whiskey. So you've imported yeah. them both and then made the mix? And yeah, so we finish maturing them in their separate barrels and then we blend them together. Once oh. they're Where did the barrels come from? Yes, yeah, so uh, we get a lot of, lots of the bourbon barrels from the United States and they have a rule where they only use the barrels once. Um, so that has a really big turnover of barrels so we then can use them for much longer than that. So well, we get lots of them from there. Oh, so how long could you use a barrel for? Oh, it, up, as long as the distillers want to use it, really. Okay. Uh, for our brandy, we use um, ex-Chardonnay wine barrels. Uh, we like them to be a little bit mellowed out uh, from the wine or from the bourbon that's gone in them previously. Um, so sometimes the older, the better. Wow. So what's in here? So this one is an old-fashioned. Um, so we've got our vibrant whiskey and then a little bit of sugar syrup and some bitters. And that's pretty much it. Cheers. Quite Go for it. Cheers. This is one of my favourites. Yeah. So. Also one of my favourites. Ladies first. <laughs> that that is nice. That sounds yeah. like the uh, really nice. seal of approval. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, that's, it's really quite, quite smooth. Yeah. Um, and then I get little flavours of the, the honey that I'm tasting. Or like a really... That's a sugar yeah, syrup. So, yeah, and sugar syrup. Some of those uh, sweet flavours come from the bourbon that's in there as well. Yeah. yeah. So that's nice. Good. So what was it in again? So just hybrid whiskey, a little bit of sugar syrup and some orange bitters. Mm. Love Sometimes orange simple bitters. is the best. Oh, I think yeah. so too. Yeah, so just stir it on ice. Uh, we've garnished it with some orange here, um, some dehydrated orange. Yeah. Uh, otherwise you could normal do... Normal orange or blood orange? No, that's just normal orange. Normal orange. This one, yeah. yeah. Otherwise you can do a fresh twist of orange peel yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, sometimes they put a bit of sugar around the rim. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 The old fashioned. 
Yeah. Sure do. So really you can garnish things as much as you like. That's the fun thing about cocktails as well. Um, it's fun to make them at home Be sometimes. Be creative. Yeah. It seems like an artwork, doesn't That's it? Awesome. Is yeah. this part of the uh, cocktail masterclass? We do make this one in the cocktail masterclass, mm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely going to have to book in, I think. Yeah. I, think I think we will. Yeah. Um, well, and how much does that sell for a bottle? That one's $80 as $80? Well. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. And um, obviously you can buy it from here, you can buy it online, you can get it from Beresford. You can, yes. Yeah, and you can get it. Uh, you've yes. got a, tell us a little bit about, uh, is it Melbourne Street? Yes, yep. So we've got 23rd on Melbourne, um, which is like our sister bar. So they're the representation of Remark in the city. So if you can't make it all the way out to uh, Remark in the Riverland, it is a bit of a trip. Yeah. Um, then you can just stop in there and experience all of our products. And they've even got a tour on their VR um, headset there. So you can have a look around the distillery. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. So I, I would say once you've been there, I like come here anyway because it's awesome. Yeah, to definitely, to if you can. Yeah. And, and check it out. Yeah. But then when you fall in love with the products, yeah. you can just stop in there. Yeah, or yeah. if you're in the city and you want to show yeah. someone around or yeah. come and taste yeah, the perfect. old fashions, yeah. then um, yeah, that would be awesome. Again, it's not easy to drink. It is. Yeah. yeah. Do they do any of the cool stuff there as well, like the gin cool flights? Yeah, most definitely. They yeah. do the gin blending, cocktail master classes, tasting flats, beer flats. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Speaking of awesome, what do we got here? At this. So this one goes Last really nicely with our hybrid whiskey because we've actually got some of the hybrid whiskey in there. Um, so this one is our chocolate uh, macadamia caramel tart. So one of my personal favourites. I really love chocolate, so it's really yeah, delicious. me too. Yeah. I'll, I don't, I don't actually, I'll take this one. <laughs> no sharing that one. <laughs> I, don't think you, I don't think you girls will like that. One. <laughs> I think we should have three. <laughs> and um, to be honest. Is that made on here or...? Yes, so Helen makes this one. Helen makes um, it? She loves her desserts as well, so... Um, no! She's got some <laughs> skills, hasn't she? She does. Yeah, so it's got some macadamia praline so definitely need some of that sauce. Yeah, put some of that on there for sure. And there's a hybrid... Yeah, so hybrid it? whiskey in the caramel in there. So wow. See if you can taste some of that in there. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. it's a bit messy. <laughs> Mine. So long as it tastes good. Next. <laughs> Didn't serve it very well. <laughs> oh, it looks to die for. Yeah, it looks so nice. So do you do coffees here as well? We do coffees. You can come in for a dessert and a coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. We pretty much do everything here, so. Oh. Right, this one's yours. Oh, thank you. You done quite well. Yeah, I know. It's just my knife and um, spoon and fork. Don't look good. Very presentable. And that one's yours? Yes, this yeah, is mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great pairing. Mm. I actually really mellowed the, ta the um, taste of the old fashioned. Mm -hmm. I was say, can you taste the hybrid in the. I hated that quick on the name. <laughs> No, you can. You can taste. You can taste. It's only very subtle, but yeah, it's not too much. No. Um, so. I, tell you, I like the crunchiness of the uh, macadamia as mm -hmm. well. It's one of my favourite nuts. Yeah. How good is it? Heaven. You've got to quickly have a taste because it just mellows it right out. The richness of the chocolate mellows it right out. <laughs> so good. Isn't it? <laughs> That's a fantastic pairing. <laughs> Have some more, don't you? Don't you sure, right? We know it's your favourite. It is my favourite. It's like the guys will tell you that. Yeah. We probably wasn't even supposed to be paired with it. It just just thought, right. oh, well. We have to have the chocolate. Yeah, we're going to have the chocolate. I'm going to show off my favourite. Yeah, this is uh, probably, I'm going to go out and leave and say this is one of my favourite pairings of the show. What show are we up to? 20. Mm -hmm. 20. Show 20. And this is one of my favourite pairings. Yeah. Um, it helps that it's probably one of my favourite drinks too, but... So good. <laughs> We're actually all dead silent. You know what? I'm going to have to say, <laughs> oh, no. it's worth coming up here for a day trip oh, just for this. Just for that. And an old-fashioned, so you're back in the car and drive home. Worth the three hours? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs>
It's not that hard to drive these things. No, no, it's easy with the uh, yeah. highway. Pretty much the whole yeah. way. So quick. Yeah. Three kids in the back wasn't as uh, miserable. <laughs> I think I was I had Adriana. She was um, a good company. That was worse. <laughs> Just whinging more than the kids. <laughs> uh, that was fantastic. That's gone right to the top. Excellent. And um, don't forget, uh, we haven't even mentioned it once. I was leaving it up to you, but you forgot what oh, usual. No. Was you get to win these amazing oh, products. Yep. Everything that we're tasting here, you get to win. All you've got to do is on YouTube and or on Facebook. Facebook. Is okay. ask some questions. Ask some questions. Tell us a story about your experience up here. Um, tag someone in it. Let's add a little bit extra yeah. to it. And share. I and think. share. Tag, share. Comment, tag, share. Follow SA One Weekly. Yep. And follow 23rd Street Distillery. Yep. And then you're in the chance to win everything except the hybrid bourbon. Or the hybrid whiskey. <laughs> that, that one's fell, going that straight one's to you. you. That, one the, that one fell off the back of the truck. So you should share it with me. <laughs> no, everything that we take. While, while we're on that, mm -hmm. I just, uh, when we were walking around, I noticed these. I'm just going to quickly move that. Yeah. I see, am I seeing no sugar? Yeah, so these are our new gin and tonic premix cans. Um, so our signature gin with tonic water, but the great thing about these is no sugar. So, no sugar. Um, be quite low in calories. Yeah, perfect. Wow. How many calories? Uh, zero, I think. Okay, well, let's say 80, 87 calories. Thank you, 87 calories. <laughs> we'll just try that one again. 13 less than a banana. Less than a banana. So if you're on a health kick. Exactly. This is the way to go. Go for, for it, that. Go okay, straight for the <laughs> That's going to be dangerous. I know. That yeah. is going to be really yeah. dangerous. And they're flying off. Yeah, so yeah. they're really popular. Yeah, yeah. yeah perfect for outdoors. Um, so on the boat, if you're out on the river. On the or, boat? Yeah, oh, that's, yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. or picnics or wherever you want. Yeah. Beach. Fine. Beach. Yep. Yeah. Share with a friend or not. Yeah, they're really cool design. Yeah, they're really nice cans as well, so they look really pretty. Yep. yep. And cool. um, it's got our artwork on there from our labels. 300 mil. 300 mil, yep. yep, so good size. So, um, yeah. standard drinks wise? So, 1.3 standard drinks, so it's just 5.5% alcohol. So. Alright, so. Uh, not too much. Not too um, much. Yeah, have a couple yeah. of those. Maybe grab a couple. Yeah. yeah. Put, put them in the esky. Yep. Be nice down at the beach, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Be nice sharing them with the mayor of Moana down at Moana Beach, just <laughs> relaxing with the esky. <laughs> yeah. With maybe with a uh, Moana Brewing. Oh, that would, yep, that would yeah, go that nice. Would, that would, that would be very, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> we had our, our first, uh, well, not our first, our second beer on last week, and I'm a beer lover. Yeah. So when I was, oh, you were so excited. Oh, I wasn't. You were. <laughs> and, um, what a kid in a candy store. <laughs> the chili stout. Chili stout. Yeah. yeah. It was really good. But yeah. you didn't, you didn't taste the chili. It was like a port. You didn't mm. taste the chili till after it just warmed you up. Yeah. 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 Anyway, we get a little bit sidetracked. Yeah. Um, Oh, I also wanted to mention that I grabbed off the shelf when yeah, I was yeah. looking was the sanitizer. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to say thanks because mm -hmm. uh, I'm part of the Portland Footy Club and we were donated a heap of the sanitizer so we could get yeah. through COVID. Yep. And as the rules were, every drill we did, we had to clean the footies mm -hmm. off with the sanitizer. Silly. And then with the, the kids, well, the girls, I'm the under 11 girls coach, so the girls had to clean their hands with the yep. sanitizer. So we went through heaps of it. Yeah. And then Sam also gave us some more when we were at Marisa because we were running out. So yeah. giving back to the community, I know, is a big thing that you guys are involved in. And yeah, I just definitely. wanted to say thanks Great. because I don't yeah. know how often people actually say thank you, but we Not were enough. so appreciative of it. And um, it helped us get through COVID, which um, was, I know a lot of people started making it, but I don't know a lot of people that gave it away. So that, that was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Look what we found. What do you got there? Ah. Oh. Right. Have a look at this. Wow. That <laughs> suits you. Oh, we got two. Oh, one for me. One for you. Stylish. Does it, does it fit Perfect. my, does it fit my massive scone? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of small. I'll tell you a useless bit interesting. <laughs> in fact, when I went into the army, there were 650 people who went in at the same time and I had the biggest head. <laughs> Fortunately, it just comes in one size fits all, so. Yeah, no, I don't think it does. <laughs> one size fits no, most. <laughs> no, right, I was, what, you were my favourite guest before that. <laughs> no, 
So that's cool. really, really cool. You make your own mm -hmm. merchandise. Yes, we merch. Wow. Yeah, yeah, we've got t-shirts. T-shirts? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Thanks, Aiden. It's a really cool design. There. Um, so we've right got our here. own in-house uh, design team. Oh, cool. Right yeah, here, with our logos awesome. and all of that oh, kind of thing. Mine's on the back. Actually, yeah, <laughs> it might be the other way around. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> there we go. I thought it was a boot tube. <laughs> what do you reckon, guys? Good? Looks good? Nice. I reckon they're awesome. Yeah, great. Right. Yeah, we're back. 23rd Street. Yeah, awesome. That is, that's a pretty cool logo. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> oh, just give the hat back. Yeah, you do. I don't. I've got the hat here. I'm going to keep mine. Here, take this. I'm going to keep mine. I'm going to keep mine. just sitting on the table. <laughs> <Excellent. laughs> Alright, so. Awesome. Are we going to eat? Take us to light martini. What? Do you want to surprise us? Well, we might finish off with something a little bit sweeter. Not that we can go sweeter than the chocolate tart, but I, I am very yeah. keen to try that. Perfect. Holy, we're only yeah. supposed to do three. I know, but it's Turkish July. Is that rules, is it? No. Oh. <laughs> no. Plus we're on kind of a holiday. We're on holidays, yeah. <laughs> what is this absolute delight? So this is our Turkish delight. One of our most famous cocktails, probably very popular. Uh, so perfect way to finish off the evening. It's a bit like dessert on its own. Uh, so it's got our rose vodka and some white creme de cacao. You just shake it on ice and garnish it with some Turkish delight and that's it. Oh, so yeah. the rose vodka? Yes. Yep, so the rose vodka in the middle of this one just I'll here. say it one more time, Molly might work it out, put it out in the front. The rose vodka. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You're not that fancy. <laughs> There we are. Luckily on this show, we, uh, we're not a tasting show because I don't believe in a tiny tasting because you never really <laughs> get to experience what the drink's yeah, like. Yeah, that's true. So we're actually a drinking show, responsibly. <laughs> responsibly, exactly. Yeah. Don't forget so that. So when amazing. we say responsibly, Holly's not driving. No. Neither am I, but <laughs> Holly's never between. driving. Holly's yeah, never driving. Yeah, make sure you have some water, some food. Exactly. Spend yeah. your time. Yeah. yeah. All right. Perfect. You're going to go first? You're going to go first? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go. Do you, yeah, you meant to stir a martini? Um, no, you don't need to. You don't need to. No, but you used to like whether it's shaken or stirred. Yeah, so this one's shaken. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, it looks it smells like Turkish delight. Yeah, it smells like Turkish delight. Yeah. It smells like Turkish delight. Yeah. So the rose pet petals just give it a lovely Turkish delight flavour without the sweetness, and then we just add that white creme de cacao that just adds that finishing touch to it. Yeah, you're right, it's not overly sweet. No, so it's not like perfume or so you could even have dessert plus that yeah. to finish it off. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Nathan? Oh, it was actually a lot stronger than what I expected. Yeah, so martinis are quite strong cocktails. Um, so this one does have 60 mils of the rose vodka. 60 mils? 60 mils. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh. I'll just see probably drink three of these. <laughs> Would be so it's sometimes deceptively <laughs> strong. Yeah. It's very nice though. Yeah, it's great. Did you just say what was in it? I've never missed that. Yeah, so 60 mils of the rose vodka and yep. 35 mils of the white creme de cacao. And why? Creme de cacao, so like a white chocolate. Creme de cacao. I think that's how you French. say it. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> French. Yeah. And um, where does a little bit of Turkish delight come from? We get that one from just up the road from Sunfresh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Excellent. I'm always using. Yep. I think I'm the tooth. <laughs> <laughs> no. Always using as much local produce as we can. Most definitely. Yeah. yeah. We yeah we're a big part of the Riverland here, and we love to support the locals wherever we can uh, with all the different products that we use on site. Whether it's our Turkish delight, our oranges, mandarins, everything. Well, I'm blown away by the food and everything we've had on the show. So I have a very happy belly. Excellent. Thanks. And I think Jess, you did an awesome job. Thank you. You have Such done a really a great good job. job. Thanks much for having better, me. Much better than Molly. Um, <laughs> Always says that. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> she, she's an excellent co-host. Not such a good host, thank but you. an excellent co-host. <laughs> Um, we won't, we'll have to say thank you very much. We won't, we you can won't. just pop it in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to actually stab myself with it now. Whatever. You're going to set it up, didn't you? Um, we're going to say thanks heaps for coming on. And for everybody, make the effort. Jump in the car, come nice up definitely. here. This is only one of the many places that you can visit that will absolutely blow you away. You can do everything here. Everything. 
anything. Yeah, yeah, everything. It's got a whole day. It caters for everyone, doesn't it? <laughs> yep, your beer lover, your gin lover, it sure does. your spirits lover. Even coffee and dessert. Your I coffee. Think. Yep. Mm -hmm. Games dessert. Dessert. dessert lovers, oh, yeah. seafood lovers, pizza lovers, pizza, pizza lovers, lovers. Yeah. absolutely everything. Kids can enjoy it here, colouring in. Yeah. Um, host SAY, where we can yeah, enjoy it. You can go on a tour. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll do a little bit of the, the tour and we might sneak back in for the um, cocktail masterclass. I think we should definitely. I think we should actually uh, bring Sal along for that. So, thanks very much for watching. Tune in next week at 8 o'clock, live on Facebook and live on YouTube. Even if we're not live, they are released at 8 o'clock. And then the show will be replayed at... Channel 44, so 7pm on Thursdays, and then repeated the following week at 5pm. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Jess. You've thanks done an awesome you. job. Cheers, thanks Nathan. for being here. Cheers. Cheers.